okay so welcome matrix representation of a graph so we are knowing that mat uh, graph can be represented by as a incidence matrix or as a adjacency matrix okay so incidence matrix when we are using okay so when the information about edges is more desirable than information about vertices at that time we will use incidence matrix or when information about the vertices is more desirable than information about edges at that time we will use adjacency matrix okay so we'll start with adjacency matrix so adjacency matrix of graph g can be denoted as a binary matrix of order n by n n is nothing but number of vertices n is nothing but number of vertices and the matrix value can be one the matrix value can be one if there is a edge between vertex i and vertex j the value can be zero if there is no edge between vi and vj means vi and vj are not adjacent if there is a self loop at vertex vi so it will be corresponding as a value 1 because that is also h okay so we have to see one example here so graph is shown on left hand side of screen okay so there are total five vertex v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 okay so we have to construct the adjacency matrix like this so adj adjacency matrix will have total uh, five rows and five columns so these are nothing but our number of vertices because our matrix is n by n matrix so as it is a n by n matrix so here uh, we can say that uh, our matrix will have total five columns as well as five rows because total vertex are five so matrix will be five by five okay so now we will find out the element here i have written element so i will explain this so v1 to v1 there is a self loop okay v1 to v1 there is a self loop so we will write one okay from v1 to v2 there is a direct edge so also we will write one from v1 to v3 okay v1 is here v3 is here though there is a path between v1 and v3 but there is no direct edge so we will write it as zero we will write it as zero v1 to v4 okay yes there is a direct edge so we will write one then v1 to v5 there is no direct edge so we have written zero so in this way we can calculate adjacent matrix of a given graph okay so now of a simple graph of a simple graph where there is no any parallel edge suppose there is a parallel edge at that time what we can do okay so uh, this is another kind of an representation where if suppose there are parallel edges if suppose one or more edge are there between vi and vj so instead of writing one instead of writing one we can write down the value of n n is nothing but number of edges that are parallel between vi and vj otherwise we will write zero otherwise we will write zero so uh, here you can see between v2 and v3 there are three edges one two three between v2 and v3 there are three edges so we have written three between v3 and v2 also there are three edges so v3 and v2 also we have written three here is also parallel edges present between v3 and v4 these two are parallel edges these two are parallel edges so what we can write v3 to v4 we will write two and v4 to v3 also we will write 2 so here 2 is written okay so these two representations are about undirectional graph suppose there is a directional graph suppose directional graph is present that is nothing but digraph so it is 
defined in similar fashion okay only we have to consider the direction only we have to consider the direction of edge here v1 to v1 no edge so we have written 0 v1 to v2 edge is present so we will write 1 okay now v2 to v1 there is no edge because direction is reverse because direction is reverse so v2 to v1 also we will write 0 v2 to v1 also we will write 0 in this way we have to check the direction we have to check the uh, direction of the edge and we can uh, calculate our adjacency matrix okay students so up to this we have seen adjacency matrix now we will see incident matrix incident matrix it is second type of matrix in the introduction i told you that we are using incident matrix if the information about edges is more desirable than information about vertices information about edges is more valuable more desirable than the uh, information about vertices at that time we are using incident matrix okay so this is the definition of incident matrix suppose we are having a graph with n vertices and e edges and no self loop simple graph then the incidence matrix xg of xij of the other graph g is an n by e matrix so our matrix will contains n by e element okay so n is nothing but number of vertices and e is nothing but number of edges so vertices we will write as a number of rows okay that are nothing but our vertices and edges will be represented in columns so value will be zero value will be zero if that edge is incident on vertex vi ej is uh, incident on vi otherwise we will write zero so we'll see one example with the help of example you can clearly get very simple so this is our graph in this graph total four vertices are there v1 v2 v3 v4 and total six edges are there e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 so we will see one by one first of all we will consider a vertex v1 first of all we will consider a vertex v1 so you can get that on v1 total four edges are incident four edges are incident on e1 sorry v1 on vertex v1 four edges are incident edge e1 so we will write one then edge e4 so at the place of e4 we will write one edge e5 so at the place of e5 we will write one then edge e6 so at the place of e6 we will write one and e2 and e3 these are not incident on v1 so we will write zero here getting all of you okay so now we will consider vertex v2 so we can see v2 okay so edge e1 e2 and e3 these three edges are incident on vertex v2 okay so we will write e1 as a 1 1 and here is also 1 this e4 e5 e6 are not incident on v2 so we will write 0 0 and 0 same for v3 there are four edges e3 e2 e4 e6 so e2 e3 e4 e6 all other are zero same for v4 on v4 only one edge is incident that is nothing but e5 so on the place of e5 we will write one all other places will be zero 
okay so now we will see incident matrix of digraph we are knowing that digraph is nothing but directional graph so there are three rules okay in simple graph we are uh, we are having only two value 1 and 0 if there is a edge is a incidence we are writing 1 otherwise we are writing 0 but in the place of uh, digraph there are three values 1 minus 1 and 0 then we will write 1 if edge ej is incidenting out to vertex vi if edge ej is incident into vertex vi at that time we will write minus 1 and if no incident at that time we will write 0 i will take example and then again i will explain you what is the meaning of these three rule okay what is the meaning of these three rule i will explain you while taking example so consider this is the example so graph is given to us this graph contains total v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 total 6 vertex and total 8 edges so we have drawn a 6 by 8 matrix 6 rows 8 columns okay so now we have to start from v1 we have to start from v1 we will consider that how many edges are incident on v1 okay here two edges are there here two edges are there this edge and this edge we have to check the direction of edges we have to check the direction of edges if the direction of edge is uh, going from v1 to another vertex just like a outgoing vertex if suppose that is a outgoing vertex then we will write 1 if it is incoming vertex we will write minus 1 and if there is no uh, edge is incident we will write 0 okay so this e1 and e2 e6 only two edges are there and both are outgoing both are outgoing so at the place of e1 we will write 1 at the place of e6 we will write 1 only two edges are there and both are outgoing so we will write 1 and 1 positive 1 positive 1 all other values are 0 all other values are 0 okay so now consider a another vertex suppose v2 so we can see total four edges are incident on v2 right four edges are uh, coming towards or going from v2 okay so now we have to check how many are incoming and how many are outgoing if a particular edge is outgoing we will write 1 if particular edge is incoming we will write minus 1 so first edge e1 e1 is incoming so we will write minus 1 then e2 e2 is outgoing so we will write plus 1 next e8 e8 is outgoing so we have to write 1 plus 1 then e7 e7 is also outgoing so we have to write plus 1 so four edges were there out of four edges three are outgoing and one is incoming so according to that we have written minus 1 and plus 1 all other value will be 0 all other values will be 0 okay i will take one more example uh, suppose vertex v3 suppose vertex v3 so vertex v3 okay uh, there are total four edges e2 e3 e4 e5 e2 e3 e4 e5 so for uh, vertex v3 e1 is not incident so we will write zero here directly next e2 e2 is incoming or outgoing it is incoming 
so we will write minus 1 then e3 e3 is outgoing so we will write plus 1 e4 e4 is also outgoing so we will write again plus 1 then e5 e5 is incoming so we should write minus 1 all other edges are 0 in this way we can calculate incident matrix of a digraph there are three rules we have to consider a vertex okay if edge is outgoing then we should write plus 1 